have been, has been, and had been. These forms cause a lot of confusion for many people. Well, in this video, I will clear up that confusion. I am going to teach you the three main uses of these forms and how to use them correctly without making mistakes. As always, there is a quiz at the end of the video to test your understanding. All right, let's get started. Before we talk about the uses, you need to know the basics of where to use have, has, and had been. In the present, if the subject of a sentence is I, you, we, they, or a plural noun, then we use have been. If the subject is he, she, it, or a singular noun, then we use has been. This is when we talk about the present. When we talk only about the past, it's very easy. For any subject, we use had been. Okay, let me test you. What do we use with he, she, it, or a singular noun in the present? We use has been. What about with I, you, we, they, or plural nouns? We use have been. And in the past tense, we use had been for all subjects. Good. So let's now talk about the first use of these forms. This is in the present perfect tense. That is to talk about actions or situations that started in the past and are still continuing. Here's an example. I have been working as a teacher for seven years. In speech, we usually shorten I have to I. I've been working as a teacher for seven years. Let's look at a timeline for this. You know that I started working as a teacher seven years ago or in 2010 because at the time of filming this video, right now it's 2017 and I'm still a teacher. So this action, working, is continuing. In this sentence we can also say, I have been working as a teacher since 2010. The difference between for and since is that if you want to mention the duration or the amount of time, then you use for, uh, like for seven years. If you want to mention the starting point of the action or situation, use since, as in since 2010. Here's another example. Let's say that this lady wants to see the doctor. Her appointment was at 3 o'clock. She came to the hospital at 3, but the doctor wasn't there. So she started waiting at 3 o'clock, and she's still waiting. Let's say it's 5 o'clock now, so two hours have passed. So what can we say? We can say, she has been waiting for two hours, or she has been waiting since 3 o'clock. In natural uh, speech, we say he's been and she's been. She's been waiting. Okay, have a look at this sentence. He's been the CEO of the company for four months. Or we can say since June because that's when he started. Here, we don't have an ing verb like working or waiting. That's because we don't want to focus on any action. We just want to express the situation that he became the CEO in June and he's still the CEO. Here's another example. They've been married for 25 years or since 1992. When did they get married? In 1992. Are they still married now? Yes, so they've been married for 25 years now. Okay, so what about had been? Well, let's change our sentences a little bit. I had been working as a teacher for seven years when I quit my job. Ah, we see a different meaning here. It means that I started working as a teacher at some point in the past. I was a teacher for seven years, but then I quit. So now I am no longer a teacher. I want you to notice that there are two past actions here. One continuous action, I had been working as a teacher, and a single finished action at the end of that. I quit. Compare this to the previous sentence. I have been working as a teacher. Here, there is only one continuous action and it's still continuing. It's not finished. So please remember this rule. Only use had been if there were two events in the past, a continuing action or a situation and a single finished action at the end. So let's go back to the other sentences. With these, we can say, she had been waiting for two hours when the doctor finally arrived. He had been the CEO of the company 
for only four months when it went bankrupt. Went bankrupt means the company lost all its money and closed down. They had been married for 25 years when they divorced. So are they still married? Unfortunately, no. Just like the sentences with have been and has been are in the present perfect uh, tense, the sentences with had been are in the past perfect tense. Now, if you need, stop the video and make sure you understand the difference between have been, has been, and had been, and then play the video again and continue. Okay, let's now move on to the second use of these forms. This is in the passive voice to talk about recent actions. Now, I recently needed to buy some computer parts. So I went to Amazon.com and I bought a mouse and a keyboard. After I received the items, I got an email from Amazon. It had this line, your items have been delivered. What does that mean? Well, it means the same thing as we have delivered your items. We means Amazon. This sentence is called an active voice sentence and here the focus is on we. But Amazon wants to focus on the items because that's what's important in this situation. So instead, they use the passive voice. Your items have been delivered. This means that the items were delivered just now, maybe a few minutes or hours ago. Now, when I receive the items, I can say the items have been received. It means I have received the items. Here's one last example. There's a construction company in my city. They build buildings. They started a big construction project in my neighborhood a few months ago. And now the company has completed the big construction project. The problem with this active voice sentence is that it focuses too much on the company, but we want to focus on the project. So how can we change this to the passive voice? Can you do it? Well, we can say the big construction project has been completed. Very simple. Okay, but how do we use had been in the passive? Again, we only use it if there were two actions or events in the past. Remember the mouse that I bought online? Unfortunately, two days after I got it, it stopped working. Such a shame. So now I can say, when the mouse stopped working, it had been purchased just two days ago. Notice that we indicate the first event with had been. It had been purchased just two days ago. And the second event with just the simple past tense, the mouse stopped working. With had been, you can mention the time two days ago. For the second sentence, we can say the construction project had just been completed when the company started another one. All right, this is the second use of have been, has been, and had been. So let's turn to the third and final use. Thankfully, this is the easiest and it is to talk about the experience of visiting places. For example, we've been to Hawaii four times. This just means that we, maybe I'm talking about my family, we have visited Hawaii a total of four times in our lives. This sentence is not about continuing actions or the passive voice or anything difficult. It just tells you about our life experience.